after importing a lot of Oilum that files in the new project, we're now going to convert them all to IES files. We select the folder, we say import, and we say import and convert Oilum.net files to IES from the Oilum.tiles section. Press next. We get all of the files. Note that the evil or unlicensed versions will have maximum 20 operations at a time. Uh, there's no need to create a new folder, but we're going to set a folder name here. Here you see this warning, which you can ignore, and you will get 20 converted files. We press no, and we can see here that the first 20 files that we selected have been converted to IES files. IES files can also be opened and shown in a text editor. That's all there is to it really.